YouTube, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Man City poster game day sort of poster. I guess it's got Aguero in it as the front image but uh, I've sort of designed it as a game day poster so you've all been asking for a tutorial on this so hopefully you enjoy the video. If you do leave a like and let's get started. <music> So guys, first thing you're going to need to do is download the textures that I have linked below. Uh, there's not too many textures in this, well there is a few, but um, it's mainly images, uh, but it's all colour coded and linked below, so hopefully it'll be simple for you guys to navigate. So what you're going to need to do is download this, open it up, and then just turn that off, and then you can turn the two layers on, and then you'll have all the assets, okay? Now you've downloaded the textures, we're going to go in and make a new document. Now this is going to be really simple, I'm going to keep it A4, A4 for this design, so yep. Click A4, create, and now we can get started. So, first things first, we're going to go to the Man City Textures Pack, and we're going to go down to Textures. We're going to go down to the bottom, and we're going to go Paper. Now, I've got them in order of how you're going to use them in the design, so hopefully it'll be simple for you to follow along. So, Paper number 7, we're going to drag this in onto our design. Now, as you can see, this is quite a harsh texture. A lot of, obviously, it's quite detailed. So, what we're going to do is we're going to reduce it down to 30% opacity, just like that. So 30% opacity, really subtle. When we use the camera or filter, you'll be able to see it more, but that's pretty simple for what we need now, okay? So moving on, we're gonna make some shapes. Now, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to get your rectangle tool and we're gonna drag down a color down the middle here. So now you're gonna hold shift and get your rectangle tool and drag down the middle. Now it's gonna be, obviously you're gonna need to fill it, pick a color. Um, I'm just gonna check what color I had on the previous design. I think it's this one. So the color code is 4B86D7. So if you use that color, that'll be for the middle. Um, and then we're just gonna make sort of like a triangle shape at the bottom. So what we're gonna do is get a triangle tool, triangle at the bottom, something like that. That'll work fine. And we're just gonna position this somewhere down the bottom here so we can hold these together line them up so that they are equal that looks fine to me obviously obviously you want to make sure that um they line up because obviously it just won't it'll it'll look off angled so that's fine so moving on we're going to add in some texture to this and we're going to add in some banners through the middle so let's get started on that okay guys so moving on we're going to make our rectangle through the middle here so what i'm going to do quickly i'm going to change the color of this just because it's the wrong color so i'm just going to make it a little bit darker so this color is going to be 185 b BBD. So that's the background color for that. Now we're going to go to our rectangle tool again. We're going to change it back to the color we had before. So the light color, obviously not with that selected. We can lock that as the background. That's background. Now get your rectangle tool, select this light color that we had before, and then just drag a big rectangle across like that. Obviously you need it fill on, get rid of the stroke outline, something like that. And you can make it bigger if you want, just depends on how you want the design to look. I'm going to make it about that big. You can obviously pay, play around with it yourself, uh, do what you want with it, but that's how big I'm going to make it. Now what you're going to need to do is go into your texture pack, and we're going to go down to the images folder, and we're going to select this Man City image down here. Drag and drop it in, and as you can see, it's already set to what you need it to be, so it needs to be soft light and about 60% opacity. So we're going to make this bigger, and then we're going to clip and mask it to that rectangle, so that looks really nice. And the next thing we're going to do is add in a massive day on the side here. So get the text tool, Anton font, that's fine. Type day, change the color of this to white, and then we're just going to make it really big. So it fills up this right side of the poster, something like that. Now you can uh, reduce the kerning of it. So the kerning is the space between the letters, um, just to make it look a bit more together like that. So that looks pretty good. Now I'm not going to I'm not going to design this exactly how it was in the poster so there are going to be it's going to be slightly different obviously because I'm not copying the whole design. If it looks different don't worry about that. It's all like personal preference of what you want it to look like. So, we've got the text in. Now I'm going to go get another texture to put over this text. So it's going to be this texture here and drag and drop it over the top. Clip and mask it to it. Subtract and then going to reduce this down to 60% as well. As you can see, we've already got the basic parts of the design in. So what we need to do now is we're gonna group all these together just so we don't get it confused. So rectangle bottom. Okay, so we've got that one done. Now we can open this up again. I'm just gonna add a drop shadow to this uh, rectangle just so it has a bit of definition. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate that rectangle actually. We're gonna duplicate that one so it's the same size. We're gonna drag it outside of this group area and then we're gonna go Command T. Gonna drag it up and off angle it a little bit, just like that. That's good. Now we just need to re-clip the Man City logo because when you duplicate it, it breaks the clipping mask. So that's fine. Now we've got our Man City logo 
uh, clipped. Now we need to add in a Man City image in the background of this uh, rectangle. So I'm just gonna move these down a little bit like so and then right so you can either have this overlapping over the text or you can just have it sort of on the edge of it if you want that's personal preference again so I'm gonna go in I'm gonna get my images so let's go get this image of uh, Manchester now I've already got the settings on this one again um, done for you so you don't really need to worry about that so it's gonna be soft light 40% opacity that's fine clip and mask it to the the rectangle and then we're just going to add in a match bit of, uh, text so let's type in map. Uh, there we go. Command T, make it big again. Doesn't need, can be as big as you want. Obviously, you want the rotation of the text to be exactly the same as the rotation of the shape. So if we go onto our rectangle, copy this little rotation here. So Command C or Control C if you're on Windows. Then go to your match texture, uh, match type, paste it in there, and then it'll be rotated exactly the same angle, and that's that done. So, got all that done guys, now I'm going to add the same texture again as the previous one to the text obviously, get the uh, pavement texture, put it over the top like so, then we're just going to clip and mask this to the match, subtract on the blending options and reduce it down to 60%. Obviously guys, in the previous design I did have this as game day, I'm going to change it to match day because it's sort of, to me it's more like a match day poster I've made, so I may as well change it to match and it sort of fills up the space a bit better I think. So. I'm going to leave it as uh, match day because I think it looks better, but obviously you are. Um, you, you're allowed to put game day if you want, it just makes more sense to me as match day. I don't really know why I did it as game day in the first place, but um, so keep it all neat, that's good. So we've got all that done now, so we need to get another image now. So I'm going to go down into my images panel, get stadium. So I'm going to put the stadium around the top here, and we're going to have it so it's beneath the match rectangle just so it's not, you know, obviously not breaking through the design. Now, if you want, guys, you can move this whole thing down a little bit if it's like if you want to see more of the stadium. Uh, so like that, that's better. So I'm just going to let that load. And what you're going to need to do to this is add a gradient map. Now, this is going to change the whole color. I've already made it black and white and cut it out. So you don't need to worry about that. Uh, you just need to basically go down to your blending options here. Gradient map, which is at the bottom. And then we're going to go clipping mask that to this just so it affects this one and this one only. And then as you can see, you'll be presented with this little menu. So what you want is the white at the end, and then you don't want a black because obviously it'll sort of ruin the color. But on the other end, you want the color that you want. So I've copied the color from these uh, rectangles. So if I select that one, apply it to this design. So if you want more blue, you can move it up. If you want less blue and more white, you can move it down. So as you can see, it's, it's quite a good tool. So I'm just gonna move the blue up a little bit just to make it a bit more rich. Something like that looks good. I'm just going to click OK and then we're done with the stadium. So we can group that together. That's all done. Now, as you can see, guys, this is a really simple design to do, isn't it? It's not too hard. It's pretty simple. So we don't you don't need to like worry about that. So we're just going to move on to another texture now. Now, this is going to be texture number three. So this is just going to be sort of like a rough paper texture type of thing. Um, it just adds an extra sort of effect to the poster, which looks really nice. All that being said and done, we need to add the Aguero image in obviously because that's the main part of it so I've left him at the bottom here so we can drag and drop him in again and there we go so obviously this poster is going to be a little bit different to the one I I made earlier um, just because I've done it differently different type bigger areas and stuff but obviously you can play around with it and make it how you want so once you drop the image in it's already got a drop shadow applied so you don't have to have that if you don't want it but that's what I've got so I'm gonna make a layer below this match day um, this Aguero image, sorry. Get my brush tool and then I'm gonna make it really thin. Like, you know how we do this. We always make the shadows like this. Same same principles every time. And we're just gonna zoom in, scroll down, and we're just gonna make a nice little foot shadow for him. Now you don't need any special brush to do this. It's just sort of any brush will do. Um, but yeah, just make sure it's dark around his feet. You can make it to multiply and then reduce the opacity a little bit. So that's really good. Got his shadows in. There's only a few more things we need to add now, guys. So we need to add in a sticker here, which is like a holographic, uh, nice colored sticker. And then we need to add the signature on the right. And then we need to add a few more textures and a camera will fit and we'll be done. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over to my sticker and signature panel in the uh, images 
um, part of the texture pack. Drag and drop them in at the same time just to save time. Now, the holographic sticker can go down here. Now, I've already edited this, so um, you don't need to worry about that. It does say Man City if you zoom in. It's quite hard to read. It's sort of there just for an effect. I will be doing another video on how to create stuff like this in the future. I just don't have time at the moment because of uni and stuff, but over the, ne the next few months, I will be doing something like that. So, signature, we can move down here. Now, I did have a number 10 text uh, here earlier, so I guess I can do that now. Just make it nice and small. Number 10. And zoom in, go down here. Just position these up together, so number 10 can go here. Signature here. There we go, that's nice. So that's all done. Got our holographic sticker in. We've got our image in. So if you want the image um, more aligned in the center, just to make sure it is aligned in the center, let's just go down here, select the background and position in the middle. So it's already center aligned, that's good. Name your layers, obviously, because it makes it easier to find where you are. So we've got that, we've got the stickers in, all that's done. Now we're gonna add two more textures in and then we're gonna add a camera or filter. So that's the old one, not that one. So we're gonna add texture here and texture here. So let's drag and drop these. Make sure you position these in the middle as well. Obviously, there we go, nice. These are gonna obviously need to be at the top of the design, aren't they? So we'll turn that one off for now. This one needs to be changed to darken and reduced to 30%. This is just to add another like element to the background. And then the paper one can be changed to multiply and leave it as 100%. So in the previous design, I did have some textures around the outside, but I can't give you the brushes for that. So I'm gonna try and use a different brush. It, it might work, it might not. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna try and try and do that. Let me just group these together. Sorry, they're really annoying me. So I'm gonna create a new layer above that and I'm just gonna get a brush tool. Now I can use these painter brushes, which you all should have because I've left links for that in um, in previous videos. So I can try these and see if it works the same. So what you need to do is select a, a blue color and we're just gonna sort of make some textures around the edges like this. So um, you're gonna need to rotate the brush a lot uh, just to make sure that it does work uh, so something like that yeah this this kind of works it's not going to be the, exactly the same as the previous one but it'll it'll do the job so we can do that and then we just uh, do one along the top maybe you don't want to overdo it because it'll make the design look really uh, not balanced is the word I should use so like that so something like that around the edges that looks good that'll do for that and that's all the stuff done guys we've added all the elements in we've named all our layers and stuff and we've kept it nice and neat so that's about it so what we need to do now is the camera or filter which is the best stage so if you go command option shift e or control option shift e on a windows um then you can take a screenshot of the design we've done this plenty of times before so you should know if you follow along the videos then we're going to go to camera or filter and now we're just going to apply a basic sort of color grade into it so you want to increase the exposure a little bit uh, reduce the blues uh, increase the blues sorry not the yellows uh, contrast you can bring up again highlights you can bring up shadows down whites up blacks down texture you can increase clarity you can also increase as well so something like that it just brings up the the, the uh, definition in the design vibrance you can bring up a little bit saturation i'm going to leave that because it's already quite a saturated image and then we're going to go down to detail sharpen the design up curves you can play around with a little bit just the shadows and stuff it will mainly affect the stadium that will but obviously you can play around with it if you want to color mixer now this is where i'm going to sort of change the color of the blue a little bit i'm going to make it a little bit brighter so i'm going to reduce this down to 15 so as you can see it's a really vibrant nice blue now so i've got that and then you can go to luminance and increase it as well just to make it really pop so that's all that done color grading you can uh yeah you can mess around with it if you want i'm not really going to do too much on it because i just don't feel the need but yeah it's up to you uh, so let's reduce that a little bit there we go now add some grain as well so about 30 percent grain and you can add a vignette in as well just to darken the corners and just to get the texture out a bit more so we've got that all in calibration don't worry about that and then we can do a side by side and just see what we've created it looks a lot better doesn't it the camera will feel always makes it look 10 times better but yeah guys i think that's a really sick match day poster i hope you've enjoyed um this little little tutorial i'm sorry that there hasn't been a video for a couple of weeks i have been really busy with uni work and um yeah i'm just coming to the end of my year so i've got a lot of work to do Thank you all for the comments and everything you've been leaving. It's I really appreciate it and the support. We've nearly hit a thousand subscribers finally. Um, so we're moving close to that mark of live streaming. So once we do get there, I will be trying to do a weekly live stream of designing some sort of poster, whatever you want. I'll probably ask you on Instagram what you want to do. But yeah, guys, 
the support's been great. Um, and yeah, just let me know in the comments if you've enjoyed the tutorial, you found it helpful, and what you want to see more of. So uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.